imagine turning a neglected foreclosure house or property into a steady stream of income, all while watching your investment grow in value. Sounds like a very exciting possibility, right? I'm really excited to dive into how you can make that happen because turning a foreclosure or a distressed property into a rental can be a fantastic way to not only the opportunity for generating steady income and build long-term wealth, but also to be a part of beautification of a neighborhood and providing housing options to families also. After buying and renovating your foreclosure, the next step is to rent it out effectively. Let's walk through the entire process from preparing the property to selecting the tenants. The benefits of renting out a property can provide multiple benefits. Not only do you gain a steady stream of rental income, but you also build equity over time. In addition to this, rental properties can offer tax advantages and serve as a reliable long-term investment. The advantages of renting out a renovated house can provide steady income. The monthly payment rental payments provide a consistent revenue stream or cash flow, and it can also build equity over time. As the property's value increases, so does your equity. As to the tax benefits, deductions on mortgage interest, property taxes, and maintenance costs are some of the potential items. I'm not an accountant, so please consult with one. All right, friends, looking at the first step in getting your foreclosure property or investment house rental ready is ensuring it's up to snuff. This means making it safe, making it attractive and making it compliant with all local regulations. Here's what you need to do. And those are the key steps of making it work. Step one is to complete the necessary repairs, making sure all the big issues are taken care of, things like plumbing, electrical systems, and structural repairs. The last thing you want is a tenant calling you about a leaky pipe on their first night, right? This is not why we signed up for this. We need to update fixtures and appliances, modernizing the property with new fixtures and energy efficient appliances can really make a difference. Not only does it attract better tenants, but it also justifies a higher rent. If you want to know more about the repairs, I have a video that I made just for you and you can watch that later. Now let's talk safety and compliances. Double check that your property meets all local safety codes. This includes having a working smoke detector, a carbon monoxide detector, and secure locks on doors and windows. And now we wanna talk about enhancing the curb appeal because enhancing the curb appeal needs not to be overlooked. First impressions matter. Make sure the lawn is mowed, the exterior is clean, and maybe add a few plants. A little landscaping can go a long way in attracting tenants. Next up is the importance of setting up the rental price. You need to set the right rental price. If you set it too high and you'll struggle to find tenants, you can be losing a lot of money. If the rent is too low, then you're leaving money on the table. So here's how to strike the right balance. Researching the market is always the first step. Look at similar rental properties in your area. What are they charging? This will give you a ballpark figure. Use online tools, websites like Zillow and Rentometer can help you gauge rental prices based on location and also the property features. There can be super handy to get that information. Consult local experts, real estate agents, and property managers have their finger on the pulse of the local market. Don't hesitate to ask for their insights. You'll be surprised, most of us are very helpful. Now, balancing profitability with demand. It's always important. Set a competitive price that covers your costs and generates profits while remaining attractive to potential tenants. Remember, a vacant property does not generate income. Now let's talk about finding the right tenants. Good tenants can make your life a breeze, while bad ones, well, let's avoid that scenario altogether if we can. Now let's look into effective advertising strategies for your rental property. 
listing it online, of course. Post your property on popular rental websites like Zillow and Trulia. These platforms have a broad reach and are often the first place renters look. Utilize social media, use platforms like Facebook and Instagram to reach a broader audience. Share pictures and details of your property in local community groups. Don't underestimate the power of a good old-fashioned sign in the yard. Also, consider placing ads in community centers, local newspapers, and even bulletin boards. And now to the screening process. Background checks, for example, verify potential tenants' criminal history and even the eviction records. You want someone reliable as your tenant. Look into credit checks. Assess financial stability by checking credit scores and the history. This gives you a very good sense of their ability to pay the rent on time. Ask for references. You can contact previous landlords and employers to gauge reliability and responsibility of the tenant. This step can save you a lot of headaches. And my favorite is the interview. Meet with potential tenants to discuss the rental history lifestyle and expectations. Trust your gut. First impressions are important. I like to do that because I like to build personal relationship with my tenants. This way, chances are that we're gonna have a good relationship and that will result in a very good tenant. Let me alert you of the importance of the legal considerations. The fair housing laws. Ensure your screening process complies with fair housing regulations to avoid discrimination. It's not just ethical, it is the law. If you'd like a copy of the Fair Housing Disclosure, you can download a free copy from the link below in the description. And you will need a rental application. Use a standardized rental application form to collect necessary information. It keeps things professional and organized. And then create a solid lease agreement a clear and comprehensive lease agreement that protects both you and your tenants. Think of it as your safety net. The key elements to include in the lease agreements are the lease terms, specify the duration of the lease, in example, one year or a month to month lease, be as clear as possible, the rent amount and the due date. Clearly state the monthly rent amount, due dates and acceptable payment methods. Leave no room for confusion, trust me on this. And the security deposit outline the amount, the conditions for its return, and how it will be used. Transparency here can prevent disputes later. Including maintenance responsibilities, define which maintenance tasks are the tenant's responsibility and which are yours. It's all about setting expectations. Have you thought about a house rules? Include rules regarding noise, pets, smoking, and other important factors. A harmonious living environment benefits everyone, doesn't it? Include termination conditions also. Termination conditions are often overlooked. Detail the conditions under which the lease can be terminated by either party. It's important to cover all the bases. Managing your rental property effective property management is essential for maintaining the value of your investment and ensuring tenant satisfaction. And this will be a discussion we will have next week. So hit that subscribe button to get notified when I post it, okay? And while you are at this, hit that like button and get your free fair housing foreclosure form. The link I have provided you in the description. Ready to turn your renovated foreclosure into a profitable rental? Start by researching your local rental market and preparing your property for tenants because with the right approach, you'll be well on your way to enjoying the benefits of rental property ownership. Engage with us. I'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts with me and questions and rental experiences in the comments below. I'm Asphir Popolevsky, a realtor with Supreme Home Sales. If you found this conversation helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more real estate tips and insights. Happy renting, guys, and I will see you on the next video.